Hello everyone, hope you're doing super great and in today's lesson I'm going to show you how you can download, install and configure Fluent and let's just go ahead and start with the video. Now to get Fluent, it's not a free tool, it's a paid Blender add-on which is a piece of software that you know kind of makes hard surface modeling super uh, easy and uh, nice and accessible. So head over to Blender, Blender Market or Gumroad and search for Fluent so the version I'm using is the 2.1 like so, so I'll just click on search and it should actually open up. So basically you actually see this uh, modeling tool. If you, you, there are two versions, there is the, uh, there is the uh, basic and then there's the version with the power trip. I believe you should get the version with the power trip because that offers much more functionality and you have additional tools and maybe in the future you might actually want to kind of like upgrade. You don't need to do that. You just get the uh, full version with the power trip because it has additional plates, wires, pipe, grids, other uh, tools and cloth panel as well. So it's a good deal. Although this basic fluent gives you everything, it doesn't include, you know, uh, these trips, these tools. So let's go ahead. So once you've um, purchased the add-on, you can actually go over to your uh, name, go to your orders, and you can actually download the orders. I've already downloaded that as well. Another page you might, uh, another piece of software you might need that's necessary to make sure Fluent functions properly is this program called uh, Instant Meshes. So uh, I'll show you how you can get this link. You can get this link when you actually start installing the add-on. So let's go ahead and install the add-on. So I'll just first jump to my downloads folder just to show you uh, these add-ons. So this is the Fluent file that comes directly when you purchase it. This is version 2.2.0. And also this is the instant meshes. I promised I'm gonna show you how to get the instant meshes. So let's head over to Blender. And in case you're wondering why my Blender looks uh, a bit different from yours, it's because I'm just using a theme. So if I go to edit, preferences, themes, and you can drop down this preset and use any other preset you want here. I'm actually using the Modo preset. I find it kind of like calm and I like how the colors are. Come on, who doesn't like this pink? Okay, let's go ahead and install our add-ons. So to install any add-on, include Influent. So let's go ahead and click add-ons and let's click on install. This is going to prompt us to search where our zip file is. And let's just go ahead and go to downloads and here we can actually find the Fluent PowerTrip.zip file. Do not unzip this file. Just click on install add-on. If it's done installing the add-on, it's going to show you the add-on with the name of the add-on. And then all you need to do to activate the add-on is to click on object. Perfect timing. So now that we have this, don't exit yet. Click this, you know, a triangle, white triangle, and let's just head over and click down. So you actually find out there are some useful tips and shortcuts, you know, it's actually providing for you. You can actually look at these shortcuts, uh, but we'll just go down to where it's asking us where the instant mesh file is. So first we need to click download instant mesh file. If we click that, it's going to open up this GitHub page I have opened up already. And all you need to do is to scroll down and click down here where it says pre-compiled binaries click on microsoft windows so you can have a copy on your system so like i said when i clicked download it downloaded it here now sometimes i clear out my download files and i wouldn't want you to kind of like lose this instance mesh file so the best thing to do is to just keep this instant mesh file in your blender file if you're using windows i'll show you where you can keep this so right click on instance mesh click copy and then go to your drive C. I'll just go to this PC, head over to my local disk C, go to program files and go to Blender Foundation. And right here, you can see I already have a copy of my instant meshes. I could just paste it or whatever, but it's right here. Don't put it in any of these Blender files, you know, cause you don't want to mess anything up. So I just prefer to keep it out here. So now that we know where that instant mesh file is, Let's just go ahead and click this folder icon to load it. So click the folder icon and go to my drive C, program files, Blender foundation and click on instant messages and click accept. So now that we've done that, 
don't exit yet, we need to save our preference so that each time we start Blender, it knows where the instant mesh file is so that we can have a seamless experience. So click this three bars right here, this menu icon, and just click on save preferences. I like double tapping just to make sure, cause hey, it might be a zombie. If you don't uh, double tap, it might wake up and bite you. So yeah, triple tap to save our preference. And basically we've done. You can do things like customize whether you want to add a bevel after you cut something, or maybe you want to increase the font size or increase the icon size. You can do that here, you know, just in case. I'll just set this to 24, <laughs> just like that. And I'll set the icon size to, uh, okay, I don't have an options to customize this, but I'll just leave it at 32 because I don't want to cause any problems. So next, what we're going to do is to close this and check if everything you've done is super well. Press the letter F and you can actually see that you have the radial menu. To escape this radial menu, you can just click here at the center, press F again. You can press the escape key, press F again, and you can just right click to escape out of that radial menu. Also on the end panel, if we press the keyboard N, you can actually see at the side here, we have Fluent. And especially when you're beginning, it's nice to kind of have this open so you can actually see what changes you can make and what options you have. So basically that's it. Uh, in our next lesson, we're going to be looking at some basic fluent functionality and how to start creating, you know, uh, models and then uh, editing them as well. So this is going to be a series and hopefully you found this kind of like interesting and important. And if this helps, don't forget to leave a like and I'll see you in the next lesson.